Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Marvel Spider-Man. We are picking up exactly where we left off in the last one. Um, okay, let's head on over to the next checkpoint. So, we ended the last one with a call from Mary Jane. She was saying that uh, things are much more complicated now. Superheroes, supervillains, and all that stuff. Ooh, secret camera spot. And that she wishes uh, that days were back to being simpler. Where they could just spend the day looking for the best pizza in town if they wanted to. And I get that. Who is shooting at me? Wow. They are aggressive. Oh, God. You sable guys are worse than telemarketers. Well done. That makes it, what, uh... Hundred counts of assaulting a sable agent? <laughs> no kidding. That's a keeper. Okay. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna get these uh, secret photo ops when we can. But I'm not gonna hunt for them. At least I'm not planning to right now. So yeah, we unlocked a suit power that allowed us to uh, to find hidden photo opportunities, which I never heard of. I never knew that was a thing. It's kind of cool. Actually, we should take a look at the suit powers. Um, suit power. I'm going to go back to... Ooh. Web Blossom is still pretty solid. Okay, the mods, I see. Ballistic damage increases XP from defeating enemies. Yeah, we should uh, change that. Um, we're going to go... Melee damage. Because I don't really need the XP anymore since we've maxed out. Blast from rocket damage. Consumes a focus bar to heal you when you are low on health. Yeah, I'm not really that low. Uh, absorb some incoming damage without resetting the combo counter. Wait, what? Why can't I do that? Oh, I see. Got it. Okay. There's a lot of really good things in here that I haven't really looked around at. Increases damage when your health... Increases damage when your health is above 100? Okay, whatever. I think Spider-Man probably has the biggest and most interesting rogues gallery of any superhero. But Batman comes in a second as the biggest collection of, uh, of villains that he has, or nemeses. Most of his uh, enemies are freaking stupid. Batman has a lot of really dumb villains and they're very annoying the names are often stupid puns or cutesy things that were or they were originally like a cutesy name and concept in the comics that they later try to make a little bit more of a a darker tone like calendar man come on stupid or tweedledee and tweedledum that sort of thing but spider-man all of his villains well, his most known villains. I'm sure he has a, a handful of really stupid ones. His most known ones, in comparison, are pretty solid. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that that homeless situation. Anyway, I don't know. I don't want to get a good shot of this. Just because. I don't know. A lot of heroes have a bunch of villains that they're not really proud of from the history and the archives of since their inception and whatever, but I don't know. All of Spider-Man's villains that you see these days in any sort of medium, whether it's the movies, the video games, unless the character is intentionally written to be stupid, they're all pretty solid villains. I think Batman has a lot of villains that are that are I I love written to be written to be menacing, but are actually pretty freaking dumb. Maybe even cringe. But I'm probably biased, let's be real. I love Spider-Man more than another hero. Batman's up there though, don't get me wrong. Messed up peace. Got it. You know, maybe I will. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to hunt these down.
This has got to be the one that we're looking for right over here. Where is it? Oops. Getting close. Oscorp. I've got my issues with how they operate, but can't deny their success. It's a major corporation. They do a lot of good things, but also a lot of terrible things. And these camera hidden opportunities are popping up quite a lot. Love. Okay, maybe I will do this. They're already 20% done. Might not be that bad finding all these cameras or hidden camera ops. No, there's one more. Where'd you go? What is it? Love it. I don't even know what that was supposed to be of. Just the graffiti or something? Pick on someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Check it out. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Means an end, folk. All of life is means an end. That must be a trick right here. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! No more you! No more Rhino! Okay, gotta find another one of those. So distinctive. Be thankful. Without you, I make less yeah. trouble. Oh God. Malinky. I'm almost sorry to destroy your tiny face. Look out, Rhino! Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Oh, boy. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's I... finish this. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, Scorch, I love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you going to do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, gotcha. That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. <laughs> So you guys are not babies, huh? You have a name yet? The scary six? The dirty half dozen? How about the wee murder spider? <laughs> corpse for a blanket. Target, please, you embarrass yourself. <laughs> Where'd you go, Mac? Uh, 
Get me out of here! Feel that, Logan! Feel yourself! Get him, you idiot! Get him! Come down with help! Rock! Guys! Now! Why you need to go around? Ah, I didn't move him up. Ah. Wait, that hit Gargan? Oh! Rhino's getting his suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Mother, Gargan has no prince. I'm just Gargan. I will squash dog myself. Yeah, that's too bad. We could just stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! Time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me, or my best people is on it. Hey, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. What do you know? Hey, Uncle Ben. Miss you. Doing my best to make you proud. 1952 to 2010, and we got a trophy for that. Sweet. Magnifique. That was a crappy picture. More and more listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's foreign. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. You're elected at the... See, I hate that it, it, it goes away when it starts fighting. Dang it. If these guys weren't shooting at me, I get that photo op and I'm going to have to worry about losing Jameson. Maybe you can scare some kids straight by telling them how miserable you are right now. So what is it we're looking for here? Subject off center, huh? Can't quite tell what I'm looking for here. Oh, it's Tombstone Shop. That's what it is. Or a club or whatever. Okay. That's annoying that it popped up like that on the other side of the building. Eh. Don't need to worry about you extras. Campaign 
main office. Yeah, we're knocking these out pretty fast. It'll start, it'll be harder though, I think, eventually, if we're not swinging right over the exact spot we need to. Should be able to figure this out pretty quickly. I think I, I will try to do all 50 of these. I might do it in between videos though, just because I don't think that's particularly interesting hunting for all of them. Jay, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Okay. There we go. Sit in front of all these lights and monitors. God, really works up a sweat. Okay, what are we doing here? He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Oh, yeah. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back up. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. How come Osborne never has to vacate his apartment for security sweeps? He's got some fancy new system installed in the back security room. No sweeps needed, they say. Plus, you know, he's the mayor. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Oh, crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back security upstairs. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating. Easy. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Swear your way out of here. We're in charge now. Okay, okay, I'm gone. A stealth takedown? <sighs> Multi-million dollar bill. <laughs> I like this thing. Yeah, me too. That was awesome. Gotta turn him around. Control. I heard something. Running a switch. Good boy. <laughs> I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the safe. Mary Jane Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. Oh, it's Sable. And Osborne. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Just running through the water. Ignore me. Hmm. <sighs> oh, 
opens back up. <laughs> She's right there. Ushfedonia, comrade. Or whatever she is. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Damn, this is one hell of a loft. Diagnostic commencing. Penthouse. Please remain calm. Beautiful. I want to look around. If ever I become a millionaire, folks, uh, I want a place just like this. This would be awesome. This is what I would love to have. If I had a big open floor plan of like a living room, dining room, I would love to have an office just like this. Big old mahogany desk like the president. Some nice comfortable chairs in front, monitors and everything. Freaking cool. I know. Wait. That look like some Doctor Doom type stuff. We'll look at it. In a minute. I just want to look around because this is really cool. Blueprints there. Skull thing back there. Yeah, this place is amazing. Fireplace. Ugh. I'm so jealous. Rich people. Being poor is just not anywhere near as fun. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Cool masks. See, everything about this place is exactly what I would want my home to look like, or I'd be okay with if my home looked like this. But I would replace like these masks with like, I don't know, cosplay pieces or something like that. Corvo Otano's mask, maybe Iron Man's helmet, you know, etc., etc. Okay, let's grab what we came for. The Fabulous Osborne Boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Why is that scratched off? Do you see that? J.U. Either it's June or July. I can't quite make it out. I wonder what the point of that was. Why scratch it out? That's somewhat significant. What is this thing? Yeah, I don't know what this is. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Hmm. Kind of ultron don't you think? Peacekeeping helmet. Really cool looking, though. Whoa. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. That makes sense. Now that I know why that picture is like that. Okay, we'll go back to that in a second. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Man, that's freaking cool. I'm going to go ahead and uh, screenshot that and leave it to my architect. So, uh, Mark 91. Sable presence oh. downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. What I was going to say was my architect was to ask me, Mark 9, what do you want for your uh, home to look like? I'd be like, well, take a look at my uh, video game playthrough of Marvel Spider-Man. Look at the blueprints. Now it fell flat, though, because I was interrupted by Spider-Man, and now I feel cringy and stupid. Thanks. Anyway. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. Uh, that must be the day Harry left for Europe. It explains now why they scratched off the date. There's a reason for that. June something. June or July something. So there's a six or a seven in there. I wonder, though... Floor room description, equipment, week. Week of 8 5. Hmm. August 11th. Doesn't really tell me what I need to, though. Scientific journals debating the Spider Man problem. <laughs> So weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. That's where it came from. 
Is there something more that I need to be looking at in here? Can't click on anything, I don't think. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from one secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Okay, it looks like we can't click on it yet. Diagnostic complete. No fault found. Fire doors disengaged. Can't open it yet because we don't have the date when we left. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. Two dining rooms. I know we left last summer, but was it July or August? July. Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Remarkable. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? I wonder how much a place like this would cost. Gotta be upwards of 30 plus million, right? I base that off of absolutely nothing. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know anything about architecture, homes, or none of that. So I don't know. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Wait, you're, the guy has so many things to criticize for, but you're getting upset at him because he gets his clothes cleaned? I mean, it's a lot more to be upset about. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Uh, hey, if you're going to meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big... Bon voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. We can go outside. I wonder why. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza. Not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Really? Why would you... I gotta crap on him for that. Come on. There's so many other reasons to be upset. Although this pool is kind of lame. Hot tub for sure, but the pool is a little weak. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. That is weird, though. An elevated bathtub? I would not want to have stairs go up to the bathtub like that. I would slip and fall and die. For sure. Everything else is dope. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Weird. Definitely likes the whole spy thing. Bedrooms are freaking cool. That's the picture right there. That was taken down. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Greed. Let me look at that again. Yeah, 
that's cool, the tree. Nice touch. It's a super rad place. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? What? You sick? I wonder what that's all about. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Leaving for Europe today. Huh. Not sure how this is going to go. Dad said there's no risk, but that's Dad. Dr. Michaels thinks it's more like 50-50. I was going to say Michael Morbius, but no, because that's Dr. Michaels. Michaels would be his last name. So, okay, I might not make it. If that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if no risk at all turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise, then do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them. Please. Thanks, Dad. I love you. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry. Really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is tough. Even in an imagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like, really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing Mom had. Neurodegeneration. Rapid onset. I've known for a while, but thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you because, well, because I didn't tell you. I was worried how you'd react. And I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with my mom. Watching her suffer, knowing I couldn't help. Watching her die was worse than dying. Oh, worse than the dying. Things got really bad recently. All those times that I was wiped out from partying or super busy. Yeah, not partying. Not busy. Sick. This Europe trip, well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment, experimental, long term. Dad's been working on it forever, promises it'll work. He hates the nickname the techs have for it, Devil's Breath. Oh. Says it makes something good seem scary, but maybe Devil's Breath is what I need. A little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay, Dad's here, time to go. Close the door, fool. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Control. Go faster, dummy. Oh. See me if I. Oh crap. July 18. These guys are really bad at their jobs. 
Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. There's a handful of different things in here. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. Hey, Miles. What the hell is he trying to create? Yeah, these spiders are the ones that bites Miles. Or one of them bites Miles. Control. Wow, everybody certainly loves these uh, audio recorders. GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure. I almost can't believe it. Oh. Carrie and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Sad when you think about it. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Green Goblin! I don't think he's going to show up in this game, though. I think that's a Spider-Man 2 thing. That's freaking cool. I can investigate. Is there nothing I can click on? Can't. 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 Can't turn anymore. Can't go up there. That's it. Freaking green goblin. I wonder if Harry's going to turn into the goblin after some mutation. Like, trying to experiment on him or something. Continuing sector sweep. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. to miss something. No? No? Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Yeah, I know. Control. Status. Nothing to report. Interesting. We came up to this and it did nothing. What am I missing? I think I've looked at like everything. Oh, that. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Mm, kind of makes sense though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics expert? Yeah, I recognize Strom. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. No movement from Dr. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. Nope, that's just to say none of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michaels' path. Am I supposed to be doing something else? Can't click on anything. What the heck? So that building is unique. What did that... Yeah, I can't back out. I can't click on anything in here. What am I doing? Oh boy. This building is glowing in a certain way, but I can't click on it. What's the deal here? Continuing sector sweep. Yeah, 
Yeah, nothing is responding. Can't click on you. Can't click on you. Yeah, I can't back out. I can't do anything. There's nothing on here to click on. What? A, there's. I mean, what's the deal here? I don't know what to do. I can't click on anything. Nothing is highlightable. I can't interact with anything. No buttons do anything. What is the problem here? Uh, I'm just gonna leave, yeah. Abandoned mission. I didn't realize I could do that, but. I might have to restart the checkpoint. I think I broke something. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Let's look at that again. Okay, you can't look at that yet. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer? Norman Osborne, GR27 research log. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Norman's got a real mad science. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Wow. Norman wins the fancy map. Looks like Norman's, huh? This show Sable Troop Deployment. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Weird. Isn't that... How does she know how to use this equipment? It looks like proprietary software. I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. Uh -oh. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh no. Idiot. Never look around the corner. Reminds me of that anime girl robot meme. We have a That's, breach. High alert. That must be the one that bites Miles somehow. Boyfriend of Spider Man, terrified of spiders. Pete. I've got the lab location, and a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep- Wait! Ah, dang it. I didn't realize you could see me behind that potted plant. Pete, I've got the lab location, and a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running.
Damn it. What are you doing here? <laughs> I got a little overzealous on that one. I need to clear that balcony. Oh, I can zap these guys. That's right. Hey! <gasps> Boss, we got her. No! Pete, you here? Turn it off, Lex, now. Are you okay? You'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. That was Andrew Garfield. He'd let her die. <laughs> you are crazy. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, N Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. Makes you wonder why Lee's with Otto in the first place. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. You broke up with him. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Oh, God. All right. I think it's a good point for us to stop. Uh, yeah, we're a little over time here. A lot to unpack in that episode. My God. So, uh, Otto and Osborne, they created Lee somehow, unless Lee already had that negative energy manifested inside him, which is why they were doing the test in the first place. But whatever happened, it triggered it. It exploded out and it killed his parents. So it makes sense why Martin Lee is so upset. But, uh, hopefully we'll find out more details about that in the next episode or soon campaign progress 96 percent. so we're almost there we are almost there we've completed everything in terms of all the districts 100 percent completion there the only thing we haven't completed is the hidden photo opportunities and i'll look into that myself later but anyway thank you guys for watching this episode of marvel spider-man we'll continue with the new episode tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific standard time right here on the mark 9 channel before you go show some love by hitting the like button do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Any feedback, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, uh, I appreciate this 49, 50-ish minutes of your time, and I hope to see you when we continue our playthrough of Marvel Spider-Man. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. See you later. <laughs>